Okay, here it is. I wanted to show you the uh, Trevor James. It's a Rev 1. So that's the new uh, crook on it. I'd say it's got a more modern crook. Going through, not going too fast, hopefully, to show you how clean this instrument is. It's been totally stripped, cleaned, uh, sort of stuck in the bath, basically. Uh, once it was, the body was stripped, all the pads have been cleaned through, so hopefully you'll be able to see from the pictures as well. I'm going to go through it. So it's as clean as it will get. There is some marking on it, some slight scratches. Um, I see a couple on the bell there, but the bell isn't dented in any way, hasn't had any dent work done on it. It is totally the flare is original. Um, as we go through, so prove that it isn't a rev one. Hopefully you can see that. Revolution. One, so it's not the classic, it's a step up from the classic. I'll show you the other the other side of the horn when we come down. The actual bow is quite nice, it's got the odd typical sort of scratches. Okay, some of those are just finger marks, but it has got the typical sort of scratches on the bottom, but no dent work, no dents on the bow. One small dent there. Just above the serial number and a little scratch as you're going up. Come on a little bit. You can see the small part, the small denting that, was, that has been worked on that I was talking about is there. Now it's it's a flattening of the curvature really. It's not major. The picture may show it better. It has no effect on how the instrument plays, and unless you really are looking for it, it's not that noticeable so going back up through so I say mouthpiece at the moment is a Selmer, Selmer 1 off my 6 uh, but it will be putting a brand new Trevor James mouthpiece on it if we just set this and go through 